Avio is a solid uh, Italian multinational that uh, has a, its root deep into last century. It was established uh, about 1910, before the first uh, global conflict, to produce uh, explosives, nitroglycerin, a case, uh, bullets, and about 50 years ago, Avio started to support the European space programs with Ariane 3, Ariane 4, Ariane 5, and eventually Ariane 6. About 15 years ago, we developed our own launchers called Vega, and then the latest version Vega C, which is capable to carry a payload in space on low orbit up to 2.5 tons. Today, Avio has um, about three business line um, space uh, launchers, the Vega, where we de develop, we integrate, we produce and, uh, and launch these, um, these launchers uh, on the space, European spaceport in uh, Guyana, Kourou, Guyana. Then as uh, the space systems supporting Ariane 6 programs with the boosters and uh, turbo pump and finally as a defense, so it's propulsion for missiles and defense business. The Vega C launcher introduced uh, several key upgrades uh, with reference uh, to, the previous, uh, to the previous launcher to improve uh, payload capability and also mission, uh, missions flexibility for the, for the satellite launches. The first Vega C uh, stage, the P120, delivers uh, more thrust than its uh, predecessor, the P80. So also the um, uh, second stage, the Z40, enhances the performance. Uh, this allows the Vega C to uh, to increase the payload uh, capability. Another key feature uh, is relevant to the Avon Plus. Uh, the Avon has been reviewed increasing uh, its uh, propellant uh, capacity thanks to uh, the characteristic uh, that uh, it can be reignited. Uh, it allows uh, to have um, um, missions with more complex uh, orbital maneuvers and also this extend the duration uh, of, uh, of the mission in flight. The Vega C foresees a wide range of adapters uh, that can uh, grant uh, um, a big adaptability of uh, this launcher to different missions and to different orbits because these adapters can accommodate uh, and deliver uh, different configuration of satellites. The Vega C manufacture is uh, a process uh, long in the, in the years. In particular, uh, the production starts uh, few years before the launch activities, subsystem and solid propellant uh, uh, booster are produced in advance with respect to the launch date and in parallel with uh, all uh, avionic equipment uh, preparation. Then in the Europe, the main stages of the Vega C are assembled together and accepted in, uh, in Europe in order to uh, grant the flight worthiness of the item before to shipment in the French Guiana. After the transfer in the French Guiana, the main stages are assembled in uh, Zone de Lancement Vega. Uh, system tests are carried out uh, in order to guarantee the readiness of the launcher for the specific mission. In parallel, the upper composite and the spacecraft uh, uh, are assembled together. And then when uh, the launcher is accepted, they are transferred in the Zone de Lancement Vega and assemble on the launcher for the final system test, dress rehearsal and the countdown simulation. In parallel, in order to guarantee the flight readiness of the launcher uh, for the specific mission, activities concerning the quality verification and uh, verification of the main test results are performing in parallel. I coordinate these activities in cooperation with the qualification authority that is ESA and these allowed to arrive at the readiness of the launcher for the final countdown. Commercial ops are very high because uh, Vega C is now a reference launcher for the Earth observation market in particular and more in general for all the LEO orbit missions. 
And uh, today, I think that uh, all around the world, there are very few competitors to Vegas C. The next step for Vegas C is clearly to improve and increase the launch rate, because so far, um, Vegas C is still a very new launcher. We have launched five times so far, and we, uh, our ambition is to bring the launch rate at at least five, six a year within a couple of years, and go even beyond this launch rate if possible, because the demand that we have is so high that we are not able to cope with the customer requests.